Hello, everybody. Uh, we are going to begin the interview section of the Merlin cast, and I have yet another very special guest with me. I have Mr. Zorro Fanboy124. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Merlin. Uh, no problem, no problem. Have a lot of good people so far, and uh, hopefully we'll have you again in the future. But this one will be an introductory one, and I've got a couple questions for you. So for the few people that may not know, we're going to talk about Zorro today. Yes. You are be the character, because either way is fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. No, you feel free. You can talk about yourself as much as you want. God knows everyone else has. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, man, no Z. Z, like, trust me, he took advantage of the sharing some thoughts. So, oh, did he? so yeah, uh, <laughs> by, the time, by the time, you know, this is released, it, it, this will probably be in advance, but we'll see. I look forward to that. Yeah, it'll be fine. But, uh, all right, let's start off with the basics, Zoro. Uh, okay. All right. Now, what is the primary focus of your channel, uh, styles of video, etc.? Um, okay. Well, the, the pretty much the main focus of my channel is uh, anime manga reviews, mostly manga reviews. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I need to get back to the anime portion of that of that moniker. But uh, I do One Piece mostly. That's the focus of my channel. That's always been the folk, main focus of my channel. And Facebook won't shut up. I gotta get off Facebook. I heard that. <laughs> 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 oh, you, do you like that new uh, Facebook? No, the, the it's so stupid. You know, that thing is stupid. Uh, you know, I, I have to tell you, just uh, I did notice that the first time I, I was on Facebook one day and I heard the little <laughs> bing and I'm like, what the hell is that? And, oh, that's a message yeah. now for Facebook? That's just, they decided to change it for whatever reason. I, I don't get it. Who, it's stupid to me. That, that's more important than this interview. On <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's talk about Facebook oh. strange in, yeah. in messaging. Now they're changing the relationship status stuff. Like, what what are they doing with themselves? <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Maybe Mike Zuckerberg <laughs> just has got too much money. I don't know. But <laughs> right. anyway. Um, yeah. Okay. Continue, so, sir. Like, so, yeah, my channel. <laughs> I think that's what we're talking we're about. We're off to channel, a great right? start already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's uh, it's mostly one piece uh and facebook rants and uh no no uh, it's, it's one piece that's what i do on my channel for the most part i also do review walking dead uh game of thrones when i do like group uh reviews with a bunch of different people talk about those two series mm -hmm. and uh you know whenever the chapters decide to come out i review vagabond which people don't know but yes i do review vagabond, vagabond as well so that's that's my main focus uh, and I also do general anime manga discussions and topics and whatever I feel like talking about. Well, uh, I'll tell you what so far, Zoro. Uh, I'm going to give you the prize because thus far, uh, for the interviews, you have given the most descriptive uh, description of your channel's purpose thus far. Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, congratulations, sir. Very good. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Should I have been more? No, no, I, I like it. Uh, like right. literally, I I think I think it was Z again said I just make videos on you. <laughs> of course. You so you know that was his thing. So you know, just for instance, no, pretty good. Videos on YouTube. Right? <laughs> um, all right. Moving on to the second question, what got you into making YouTube videos in the first place? Well, uh, as far as the anime community is concerned, I was a part of it even way before I was making videos in the community. I was, you know, I watched videos of different people and uh, commented. I was one of the commenters for a long time, a few months. Uh, and then, you know, being someone that was a part of the community, I noticed that there was, uh, you know, a bit missing in terms of the One Piece content. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there were people that reviewed One Piece, but this was at a time, keep in mind, where One Piece was not po I know it seems weird, but <laughs> One Piece was not popular. Uh, you know, wasn't was definitely like the little brother that was picked on a lot. Uh, I don't know why, but this was a weird time in the anime community, and I thought... You know, there isn't somebody that focuses their channel specifically and talks about One Piece. There was nobody, essentially. Maybe one or two people that kind of did that, but not really anybody in particular. And I thought that's an avenue I could go for because I know about it. It's mm -hmm. something that I really enjoy. And uh, there's definitely a, a market out there. I think people really enjoy the series. So I didn't think it would be as, as crazy as it is, and it's blown up like it has, but it has. And I'm, I'm you know, that's awesome. So Yeah, it's very good. Very good. You're right. I, I do remember a time when uh, most of what you heard about One Piece was hate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then occasionally you heard that people said it was good, and you're like, really? <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know. So, like, all these new kids are like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They won't even know. It's true. It's, it, true. It, it's, it's weird, man. It's weird. Weird. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now we get to some of the more interesting questions. Um, all right. Get ready. This is sort okay. of a, a dual question. You can answer uh, okay. uh, both parts of it if you like. Everyone else has. Uh, what's your favorite anime or manga series and why? This might be easy for you. Oh, yeah. This is, this is pretty easy. I thought you gave me something hard. All right. Uh, <laughs> no, my, favorite, my favorite anime series uh, of all time is Cowboy Bebop. It's, oh. uh, it may be a bit of a nostalgia pick. Uh, it may be a bit of a, you know, a childhood pick, but it's just... 
I don't know, man. It's just something about the series that just connects with me mm-hmm. uh, on some kind of like personal level. It just has, I don't know. It just has this feeling to it, man. It just has this, uh, this style and the substance that when I was uh, a young person, I didn't really see in uh, animated shows. Uh, keep in mind, there's a time where I didn't know what anime really was. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would see animation on TV and just assume yeah, it's childish, it's it's immature, it's me- it's it's mediocre, it's just to make people laugh. Nothing really special, you know. The only like adult com uh, you know animation that I saw at the time probably was South Park, and that was it's still a comedy at the end of the day. Uh, so you know, and then I, one one day I turn on you know turn on my TV and I and I see the show, and it just completely changed my perspective of how the medium and how the uh, you know how, uh, anime and and, and uh, animation in general rather. It could really go into some deep subjects and deep topics and really explore that in a really creative way, mm-hmm. and it just blew my mind. And I and and, and even uh, now going back, I mean, sometimes I go back and I see series that I watched when I was younger, and it just doesn't have the same feeling. But Bebop, even now, it just has that impact for me every single time I watch it, and I've seen it many, many, many times. And I don't think anything will ever replace that. Like I said, it's more of a nostalgia pick, but for me, that's my favorite of all time. Uh, I know there's flaws, but I just love it. No, very good. So I'm guessing that's your favorite anime. Uh, do you have a favorite manga? Right, manga. Yes, my favorite manga of all time. Uh, this is it is actually Berserk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And to be honest, I mean, maybe when when, was, when did I actually re- read Berserk for the first time? Um, I watched it maybe four, three and a half, four years ago, which really isn't that long ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I watched the anime. After well, well, first, I watched actually the first episode, and then I dropped it for a while. I wasn't really feeling it because it was a little too like the animation was a little gritty. This this is a time where I a very different I was in a very different place as an anime. <laughs> okay. Keep in mind, and it was just like really crazy with demons and stuff. And I'm like, I'm, I don't know if I'm ready for this quite yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't even get into that second episode where it got into the you know what I'm saying the the real golden uh, age, golden age greatness. So, but then I, I did end up watching the entire series. Uh, from front to, you know, from getting to end in an anime forum. Good show. And I remember making a video about it. I think it should still be on my channel about it. And I just was so blown away by how amazing the anime was. Hmm. So I decided, okay, you know, the anime is essentially uh, an advertisement for the manga. So let's go to the <laughs> manga and see what's going on there. And it was even better, mm-hmm. uh, e- even given the fact I knew it was going to happen. It just had more detail. It had – the artwork was fantastic. And this is at a time where I wasn't a huge manga guy. For a while, I was more anime over manga, but now it's been completely changed since then. Um, but yeah, and it, the, it just, it just, it was kind of like a bebop effect where it kind of blew my perceptions of what manga could be out of the water, mm-hmm. and it just, it just opened my mind to like possibilities that, it, you know, that, that there are things that you know could completely just blow my expectations out, uh, and it just really was amazing, and it still is. Uh, if we ever get back to guts, that'd be great, but. <laughs> <laughs> next 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 chapter next chapter no, no, yeah that's what we've been saying for a while but you know i actually did not know that that was your favorite manga that's something new okay really yeah, yeah it is it is my favorite manga of all time and um it's just it, it's hard to say uh exactly why i mean i can go into really big depth and talk about berserk but i think that we're we have a limited time and i don't feel like going into all that but it, it, it's just phenomenal like i said it just it blew my expectations and my perceptions out of the water and it, it really covers a lot of different themes artwork fantastic best one of the best artwork that you'll, you'll see in manga and it's just a fantastic series in, in general so I'll just leave it at that. Excellent, excellent. All right, very good. Uh, kind of relating, shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, this is another dual question. Now, who's your favorite anime or manga character and why? Oh. I know that we had you had some recent shifts in perspective recently, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we were talking about this just a little bit ago, and uh, <laughs> it used to be Vegeta, man. It, uh, mm-hmm. But then Dragon Ball Z attacked. <laughs> a super attack, you know. Super nation attack, but oh. you know, it's, it's one of those things. <laughs> Everything changed with Jenny Cavalli's super attack. <laughs> exactly. That was a joke I was trying to go for. Uh, well, I, I got it. I got, you got it. Right. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, I have been holding off on watching it, so I don't know whether it's going to be fan love or fan hate, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to keep giving it a chance. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll, once it gets past the movie part, get good. Yeah, hopefully. But, um, yeah, uh, it's changed since then, and uh, it's now changed from uh, well, anime manga is it's it's basically one character for anime manga, I guess. Okay. So it would be guts for both. Um, Easy go back to Berserk. You know, it's it, I already kind of talked about Berserk, so it's kind of redundant at this point. But uh, his journey is just so great. I just, <laughs> I just love it. 
And this he's more than just your typical I'm badass, I'm grunt, her, her. I have big sword, I have big sword, her. It's it's he's more than that. Um, I mean, yes, that's a part of him, but I feel like there's just a lot of tragedy to him, and uh, and his character is just it's like an onion man, his layers, layers, man. <laughs> Layers. Kind of, kind of a uh, Shrek quote there, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Got, yeah. See, see, Shrek, you know, Shrek's love. G- Gutsu is like an ogre. He's got layers. <laughs> he's like, is that, is that no, that he's what they call a Byronic hero, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, and, yeah, definitely a very good one. I, I, I should have expected that. He's, a, he's a great character, of course. And he's the embodiment of perseverance, and I've always respected that about characters that, that don't whine and complain about their circumstances and actually battle through, given all the shit that they have to deal with. And the more shit they have to deal with, the more they, they persevere, the more they get my respect. So all right. I fuck Shinji Ikari and my, <laughs> and my guts is the deep, my man. My well, <laughs> well uh, interestingly enough, leading into the next question, uh, do you have a least favorite anime series <laughs> and why? <laughs> it's not even okay? It's okay, not okay, okay, well, I am curious so, then. What would it be? Yeah. Worst anime series of all time. But for you, yes. Which one do you dislike, hate, least favorite? I don't, I don't, even, I don't even think I would go fairy tale. And I, you know how much I dislike fairy tale. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even say that. It's not even. Like, it's just <laughs> mediocre. Uh, so I, I wouldn't go with that. But um, wow, worst. I usually drop things when I don't like them right away. I I, I have very little patience for for garbage. But well, well if if that works for you, if there's one you really thought you had to drop pretty quickly, you know that would work too. Oh, shoot. Oh man, um, got to give me an answer. Everyone else has. I know, I know. It's really tough. There's there there's there a couple of options. Like there's there's a couple like really stupid etchy series that I saw. Uh oh wait, wait, wait no 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 I got it I got it. Oh my god Negima Negima. Oh I I remember that show. I'm not a big fan of it. Negima. Oh man, maybe it was just a dub. I don't know what it was about that. That that show was bad. <laughs> there was one there was one show that Kai knew and he talked he reviewed it I think called Charger Girls. It was the dumbest shit I ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't even know why I watched. It, to be honest, it was so bad. So, so um, the ticket Zoro's not a fan of the was that, was Rosario uh, Vampire. That oh, was... that's terrible. That's fucking <laughs> pretty bad. Anime. I, 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 oh, that's that. That is that's a horrible show, a horrible series. Um, so yeah, I'll go with those, I guess. There's probably something else I'm forgetting, but for them, that's the things that come off the top of my head right now. All right, all right, fair enough. All right, now, uh, here's some stuff where you get to explore some other things. Uh, what other interests do you have outside of anime and manga? Oh, that's that's kind of nice. Um, well, for the most part, you know, I, I, anime manga is more of a, a small part of my life, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, uh, I do work a lot. That's not really something of interest of mine, but that's that takes up most of my life, unfortunately. Okay. But as far as interest goes, uh, I'm big into sports. I really enjoy sports. Uh, mm-hmm. now Skype is fucking wild. <laughs> Look at that. Jesus, I gotta mute everything now. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Uh, God, shut up. <laughs> All right, I muted it. I muted it. But, um, yeah, so sports is a big part of my life. Like, uh, football, basketball, hockey, um, any, baseball. Any teams? Bigs, yes. I'm, uh, and, and this is depressing if anyone knows these teams. It's the Mets, the Jets, the Knicks, and the Rangers. Uh, I've been – I was born in 1989, and since 1989, other than – the Rangers in '94. My none of my teams have won a single championship. Seriously. Seriously. That is that is kind of depressing, actually. That is really depressing. Oh wow. Mets made it to the World Series this year, but they couldn't do it, so that was disappointing. Well, but hey, in, hey, they made it to the series though. I'm very proud of them. That's, right. that's still good. And then my Knicks are doing pretty well this season too. I'm very surprised. They just beat the Rockets, so I'm very happy about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the sports. Uh, I really I enjoy politics. I, I do too. Uh, I'm not really a uh, incredibly knowledgeable when it comes to politics. Like when it comes to like really the experts, I, I kind of like, uh, you know, I feel like I'm an idiot compared to them, but in general, it's something I really enjoy talking about, you know, with friends and, uh, and I enjoy, uh, just, you know, watching different discussions about politics and, uh, things like that. Just, you know, just in general, like things that interest me intellectually or, or things that I, I enjoy talking to and listening to. So that's another thing. Uh, and, and I enjoy going out and having fun every now and again. You know, you got to balance it out. You know, it can't just be, you know, work, sleep, and <laughs> manga all day. You got to go out and do some stuff. That's true. So that basically encompasses my life. In <laughs> oh, that's not too bad, though. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, yeah, I know. You expressed some interest about some of the upcoming elections. I know you've made some of your thoughts pretty known. All right. Oh, let's... Feel the burn, baby. Feel the burn. Feel, feel the burn. <laughs> feel the burn. Well, we'll see. I. I think Hillary is probably leaning, but we'll see. Who, who can really tell at this point, honestly? She'll probably win. Yeah. Eh, pro- probably. 
But uh, it's neither here nor there. Uh, yep. Now, the next question, uh, I've been trying, Zoro, to, uh -huh. to instigate some kind of controversy. Okay. Tr trying. <laughs> uh, and thus far, I mean, let's see. Uh, the previous interviews, I mean, there, there's there been some minor complaints, but even, even Dead, who is the most outspoken, okay, was like kind of eh, you know, about the whole thing. So, okay. so I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping because I, I, you might be my last hope. I don't know. Everyone else is pretty reserved. I can stir up some shit. Okay, please, <laughs> please. I, I don't. That's the point of this. This is basically radio. Is what we're doing. So, okay. whatever. It, I don't care. We, we want to. Have... So, Roland and Zora in the morning. No, uh, actually, uh, well, I don't know what I'm gonna upload. This pro probably Monday night. Actually, will be when these are out. But. But, I was doing a radio DJ kind of thing. That was, my, that was, uh, was that was that like uh, like oh man, you could hear the trucks coming. <laughs> like sound effects. <laughs> not not don't quite. Don't have a distinctive sound, but okay. I, I'm I'm not at that at that level yet. But in, 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 in any case, um, the question is, uh, what are your thoughts on the state of the anime community right now? Ah, all right. Um, all right, honest. I'm gonna be honest here, okay? I know you want me to start some shit up. No, no, honesty. I, whatever it is, honesty, I prefer. <sighs> when it comes when it comes to the anime community, I'm not as engaged into it as I had been over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. So I can't give you a, a precise diagnosis of the life of the community. Okay. But from my limited perception, it is not really as as exciting mm -hmm. uh, or as you know, engaging as it had been. It's not as life. It, it doesn't have as much life as it had. Uh, I feel like, I feel like even even a few months ago to a, over a year ago, we had more collaborations. We had like a lot of more tag videos. We had a lot more p participation within the community. Mm -hmm. More people, more people coming into the community. More people in, actually in the community commenting and liking. Um, and we had more diversity with the video content. Now it just feels like, and I'm, I guess I'm part of this too. I'm part of the problem, I guess you could say. You got, you got your live reactions, you got your regular videos, and then you got other people in other parts of the community. I mean, the anime community is pretty big if you, and you know, if you encompass a lot of different things. But I'm just talking about our particular portion of the community, our little sect mm -hmm. of the reviewers here. It just, it, it, a lot of the same stuff. There's not much diversity. It's, it's kind of gotten a little stale in terms of. The content and just the overall engagement and the interaction between reviewers. I mean, everyone remembers the golden age of live streams. Not saying that we necessarily need to bring that back, but that kind of that kind of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That the interactivity that we had mm -hmm. within the the reviewers circles. I just feel like it was much more a few years ago, and it's just not the same anymore. Maybe I'm just being an old man, like, <laughs> but honestly, I don't, I don't, like I said, I'm not too into the community, but I don't see any new people really coming in and, and kicking down the door, so to speak. I don't see anything like that. It just, it just feels like we're just kind of like same old, same old, same old. And there's, <laughs> Same shit, different day. Oh uh, well, well, you know that's that's pretty much the prognosis I've gotten so far. Do you think there's anything that could be done to change that, or is that just kind of the way things are? I mean, it's got to be the people. You know, well, I mean, the thing is, it's a it's a problem with both. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I necessarily wouldn't say it's a problem, but it's a product of supply and demand, so to speak. I mean, there are people out there that want to do regular, normal reviews, like they review an entire anime series or review, uh, you know, a, a few episodes, or you know, that don't want to do chapter to chapter and episode to episode or live reaction to every episode. But mm -hmm. that's what the demand is. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. That there's a reason why people are doing that because that's the most sought after content, and that's what the people want. Mm -hmm. So the reviewers basically are a reflection of what the people want. So if the 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 people have uh, you know problems with the way that or what the content that's being made is that's basically because <laughs> that's what the viewers want in the they're, first place. they're feeding they're, feed, they're feeding into it exactly if the reviewers actually you know or not the reviews if the the watchers the commenters were you know or wanted and uh, you know sought after videos like full episode uh, full series reviews rather mm -hmm. and that's what the video videos that they mainly watch and there would be more full series reviews but because those videos don't get the same recognition, they don't get the same views, that, therefore, just as a product of that, you get less of them. And it's just, that's the way it is. That's just some simple supply and demand. Yeah, yeah that sounds pretty accurate to me. But as far as fixing it, what we can do, 
Um, I don't know because of that supply and demand. I just feel like it, unless people just just change and all of a sudden like, oh, we 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 agree, we agree it's stale. We want new things, and then that kind of leads into somebody you know mixing it up and doing some new stuff. Mm-hmm. Then then we'll hopefully get a kind of a revolution, so to speak. But I I don't see it happening anytime soon. Well, hopefully eventually it will. <laughs> I'll try to be part of the solution. All right, I'm gonna oh, try to oh, sync up. We right? try, we try. I'll try. Well, that leads to our final question. Um. What goals do you have in YouTube or your personal life that are driving you right now? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, as far as YouTube is concerned, um, I don't have a number in mind. Uh, I never really – like, yes, you have certain numbers like, oh, what would be cool if I reached that? But you know, I, I never really say, if, oh, I need to get this by, by this. All I try to do is if I have a good idea, I put it out in a, in a video – if I, you know, obviously I do my chapter reviews, so just put out the best videos I can make, quality wise, the best I can do. Just put it out, and just whatever happens after that is it's really out of your control. Like getting subscribers, it's not it's not really a science. It's it's just a lot of luck is really involved. So uh, you just kind of just do the best you can and put out the best quality content that you can do, which in all honesty I could do better of, but you do the best you can do. And you put it out, and you just hope for the best, and hope people like it. That's that's pretty much how it goes. Mm-hmm. So as far as goals, it's kind of hard to set a goal when it, a lot of it relies on luck, and you're just kind of hoping people really enjoy your stuff and they want to subscribe to you. So uh, I guess if I have a goal, it's just to to you know for people to see my channel as a place to go for one of the best anime uh, or One Piece uh, d- manga discussions on YouTube. Um, if not manga chapter reviews on YouTube. So that's that's something I always wanted, and uh, hopefully people see when they look at my channel. All right. Yeah. Uh, what about outside of YouTube? My personal life, man, I don't know, man. I, I'm not trying to have no kids anytime soon. That's... Well, well. <laughs> I'm not okay. trying to get married anytime soon. Well, uh, so. well, I mean, hey, you could still have other, other plans. You don't have to necessarily be that. Right, right. I'm trying to think, like, exactly what I... It's 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 really I'm in a, a weird spot right now. Let's just say that. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Where, That's... where yeah, financially speaking, you know, I, I'm not necessarily 100% secure, but I'm happy where I am. Okay. So I'm I'm doing the right things there. Uh, socially, I'm I'm doing fine. I'm having a good time, living life. Um. So really, what's left to do is just take it a day at a time and see what happens, because. Like YouTube, life is about luck and just seeing what happens and uh, rolling with the punches, so to speak. So I just want to live uh, a life that I uh, don't have any regrets with. That's all. All right. I, I like that. And I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Uh, any final thoughts or anything you'd like to say before we wrap it up? No, nah, man, we got deep with this, man. We got... It was good. It was good. I, I learned something about myself today. Uh, oh, hey, that, that's that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying good to do. Good interviews, man. Yeah, was, thank you for having me. No problem. Good. And uh, feel free to come back anytime where you can talk about whatever you want. <laughs> now, now that the interview process would be over. So, that sounds good. So we'll plan to do some of those. Anyway, this was Zoro Fanboy. If you haven't subscribed to him, please check out his channel. I'll probably link it below in the video. And, of course, uh, we'll be getting more interviews in the future, hopefully. And hopefully we'll have you back again. I hope, I hope to be back as long as I'm worthy, you know. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh man. All right. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime.